Hello students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hope Laura. You know me as Mr. H. Today is Wednesday, November 11, 2020, and this is Good Morning Mammoth Heights. All right, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, boys and girls, let's look at what we have on our lunch menu for today. Today, you get to choose between the cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, or the bistro box, which features the whole wheat crackers, cheddar cheese cubes, and sunflower seeds. Your lunch choices for tomorrow will be the grilled chicken teriyaki with rice, or the bistro box, this time with the lemon bread, sunflower seeds, and string cheese. As we move on to our second step, lesson of the week, we've been focusing on these three words and they are using self-talk. Using self-talk. So what does it mean for a student to use self-talk here at Mammoth Heights Elementary? Well, I gotta tell you boys and girls, it's one of my favorite ones. And I was listening to a book the other day and it made me think of self-talk because the best athletes in the world have been proven. This was a study done in Colorado Springs by our Olympic athletes. They are been proven, the most elite athletes, to use self-talk and to help visualize how they will compete to be successful. Using self-talk isn't just something that we do in elementary school, it's our Olympic athletes use this every time they compete and every time they practice. Using self-talk is another great week of learning at school to use self-talk. An important skill for learning to use self-talk, it means talking to ourselves in a quiet voice or in our heads. Self-talk can help us stay on task and focus our attention. I remember that one from last week. Think about what self-talk you might use if you were trying to remember directions your teacher gave you. Remember to use self-talk today when you need to stay focused and on task. So I hope you practice your self-talk today, throughout the school year, and of course throughout the rest of your life, even when you become an Olympic athlete. Well, boys and girls, let's move on to our energy bus, principle number three, and that is drive with purpose. When we drive with purpose, we understand how we can impact our classroom and how our actions today can impact others and can impact our lives. So driving with purpose means you're in the driver's seat. Remember, you're the driver. Now that you're in the driver's seat, you set a positive vision. And now that you've set the positive vision, driving with purpose helps you get to that vision as well. All right, let's move on to our birthdays for today. Happy birthday today to Catherine Gould and Lucas Brankel. Happy birthday to you too. I will try to find you today, whether you're an e-learner or whether you're here at school and get you your happy birthday pencil. Boys and girls, for our announcements today, intermediate band virtual practice after school, and that's after school today. Orchestra virtual practice is tomorrow morning. The Parker Task Force food drive begins tomorrow, and today is a special day. It's Veterans Day, and we normally have a great assembly, and Mr. Wilkinson does a great job with all the different um, musical themes for our armed forces, songs. We have vet, vets come in to our school. We have active ser for service members coming to our school to celebrate their contributions to our country and for defending our freedom. Now, because we're living in a world of COVID, we can't have these assemblies. And it's always one of my favorite assemblies of the year. So if anything today, make sure you find Mr. Knickerbocker Tell him thank you for your service. And a big shout out to Mr. Burley, fourth grade teacher, who has been served, who has served our country in the past. So th a big shout out to Mr. Burley and Mr. Knickerbocker today for Veterans Day. Thanks for all you've done to protect our country. Well, boys and girls, that concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be a positive ambassador for Mammoth Heights Elementary. Exhibit leadership through our energy bus principles and demonstrate a love of learning each and every day. And remember to dream, strive, become, because that's the mammoth way. How you guys feeling on this Wednesday? Because I feel great. Yes!
Have a great day. We'll see you around. Bye.